Hi everybody. So today I'd like to talk about the energy reboot practice, particularly the sort of philosophy behind it. And if you uh, don't know what the energy reboot practice is, I, I talk about it often in my videos. Uh, you can basically uh, Google it or search on YouTube for energy reboot and you'll find my various videos uh, over the years i've gone through iterations of what my energy reboot looks like um, i call energy reboot one two and three and uh, now today i'm still i'm working mostly with with two on a daily basis energy reboot two and then I, um, i'm also practicing energy reboot three which is a little hard which is harder but um, but let me just briefly explain what it is, and then I'll talk about the philosophy behind it, why it's important, and I'll encourage you to create your own energy reboot practice. Okay, so the energy reboot is um, something that I do many times a day, and it takes about 20 seconds. I've timed it recently, and it's, it is about 20 seconds for me on a regular basis, 20 seconds. Sometimes I extend it, and it takes like maybe 45 seconds or something. But it's under a minute, which means it can be done multiple times a day without taking too much time uh, or without the natural uh, resistance we might have to say, well, I don't have time right now to do to do this. No, it takes less than a minute. I think of it as this, like is is it worth connecting with the divine how for a minute <laughs> of course it is what else is more worthwhile to one's day than connecting with the divine <laughs> what else is more uh important than coming back to uh being sourced resourced at the deepest highest level is there anything more important than that no, <laughs> nothing else, not even taxes or, or whatever is more important than taking a moment and resourcing yourself. I mean, the only thing maybe more important is if you're in a burning house and you have to get out this very minute, otherwise you will die of smoke or something. I mean, uh, but usually that's not the case. Usually whatever we're doing, it is... Uh, more than worthwhile to take a moment and some people say to ground yourself or to kind of center yourself or to uh, well reset yourself spiritually energetically um, so that you're going to take on the next thing with more uh, conscious intention with more um, you know more of your values intact in that moment right so that's why it's so important to have an energy reboot practice. I call it energy reboot. Some people call it an energy reset, or some people just call it a checking in with oneself. Um, some people call it just mindfulness, you might say. Simple mindfulness practice of um, taking a moment and reconnecting again with what is higher or what is deeper, however you want to say it and before you go to the next moment. And this is why it's important for it to be short. So instead of like, yes, when I wanna reset myself, I go on a half hour walk in the woods and it takes me half hour to get there and then half hour to come back. So the total is an hour and a half, <laughs> right? And once you get there in half hour, you, you might as well take one or two hours to walk in the woods. You see what I mean? Like, you know, you can't, that's great connecting with nature, or yes, I do a yoga practice that takes me 10, 15 minutes, which is also good. Or I, I do some journaling for five minutes, which is also good. But you see, as long as it's at least several minutes long, it's easy for you throughout the day to say, well, I don't have time for that right now. I'll do this after this thing that I'm taking care of. Because just even taking five minutes might have that resistance where it's like, this thing takes me 20 seconds. I have no excuse not to do it, you see. Like it, 20 seconds, come on. 20 seconds for God? <laughs> is God deserve 20 seconds of my time? Because God deserves 100% of my time, not 20 seconds, right? Like it's so 
short that it's ridiculous for me to say I don't have time for that right now. Okay, so that's the reason why it has to be that short. Because, like I said, go ahead and give it a try. If you have something that's three to five minutes long even, watch yourself postponing on it often, right? Where it's 20 seconds, 45 seconds. Come on, it's, it's that short. Okay, so that's why it's so short. And secondly, I'll talk about why it needs to be done so often. So I do my energy reboot. You know, most of my, my waking day, I'm working, uh, except on Sundays uh, and parts of Fridays. But most of my week, most of my day, I'm, I'm, I'm working, okay, working my business. And when I'm working, if I'm not in a meeting, I, I use a timer and I use a timer that's 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes when the timer goes off, I stop and I do my energy reboot before I set the next timer of 10 minutes. I just do this throughout my entire working day if I'm not in a meeting. And to come to think of it, it's like, hmm, maybe I should do that in a meeting as well. Maybe not every 10 minutes, but maybe every 20 to 30 minutes in a meeting, you know, I can pause Especially if I'm, uh, obviously, if I'm, if I'm the one facilitating the meeting, I can pause everyone and say, all right, everyone, let's take half a minute to breathe and ground ourselves before we continue. I think that's probably a beautiful practice. I think I'm going <laughs> to, I just talked myself into maybe trying that out. Um, so, but yeah, certainly when I'm just working on my own, I'm doing 10 minutes energy reboot throughout the entire day, believe it or not. It's true. I mean, if you ever... If you ever work with me on like Focus Made, or if you if you're in one of my group programs and you come to my group work retreat um, where we work quietly together, you'll see me do my energy reboot about every ten minutes, and um, and so the frequency of it, the reason for it, is that I call it you know spiritual amnesia, meaning I don't know about you, but throughout my day. I'm mostly not spiritual, <laughs> or rather I have forgotten what the bigger picture is because I'm so focused on this video right now, or I'm so focused on the task at hand that I have forgotten um, that I want to embody my values, or I have forgotten that you know I'm being guided and protected at all times. I have forgotten that my mission is to serve rather than get this thing done. I have forgotten that every moment of every day can there is an underlying thread of joy, an underlying river of joy that is always available to me. I believe to everybody. Um, of course, it's 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 uh, it's very challenging in some lives, in some moments, to feel that joy. But that underlying river of joy. That, that, is, that is beneath every experience is always, always there. And I forget about it constantly. I don't know about you. So it's like, it's hard to keep two things in mind at the same time. Spirituality and whatever I'm doing in the moment, you see. But it's possible. Like when I, when I again remember, then I do the next moment with a more spiritual beingness and I know it's possible because obviously I do it every time I come back from the energy reboot so that's why I have to do my energy reboot more frequently now more frequently than 10 minutes is probably too I don't know it it might it's probably too often for most of us because it chops up our day it interrupts our day too much um, and it ha because your brain has to like re refocus again and whatever it is but it's like it's like the refocusing with spirituality is what the energy reboot helps to do. And like if I could simply focus with spirituality throughout the day, my day would be more joyful, more service oriented, more um, connected to the deeper purpose of, of, of it all. And well, it's been about 10 minutes into this video now, I think. 
and uh, I might as well, you know, I'm facilitating this meeting, right? <laughs> this meeting between you and me here on video, so I might as well do my energy reboot and encourage you to do it. So uh, what I'm going to do, and I'll, I'll talk about the logic of what I did after I do it here, but what I do is I hold my hands to my heart. Uh, that's the start of my energy reboot. And it's basically a series of breaths. And like I said, only 20 seconds. Now, of course, as I'm explaining, this is taking way longer than 20 seconds. But when I actually do it myself, it takes about 20 seconds. So um, I start with one. And each breath has a has a has like a mantra or I'm like saying something in my mind. And like I'm focusing my mind on that thing. So the first breath is thank you for bringing me here through all the ups and downs you've brought me here here meaning god life universe source thank you for bringing me here through all the ups and downs and then next i put my hands to my gut okay my my my, my gut which is another brain of our body a lot of people don't know there's a brain in the gut um or the brain the gut is a sort of a brain part of our brain system anyway i put my hands to my gut and i say as i breathe thank you for bringing me through all the ups and downs coming up through the rest of my life until I'm home. Thank you. And the third thing I do is I put my hands to my side, like, like, like this, palms out, except I stretch my hands just all the way to the side, relaxed, you know, palms out, so that it's, um, it's like in a, in a receiving mode, like where I'm receiving a large thing. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I, I put my hands out as if I was holding hands with my spirit team. I imagine them to my left and to my right. And it was like we're holding hands in a, in a line, right? Facing life, holding hands, my angels holding my hand, one to the right, one to the left. And I say, thank you as I breathe. Thank you for being here with me right now. And sometimes I like touch my, palm, my fingers to my palms to feel like as if someone was holding my hand, right? And then I finally stretch I kind of go left and right a little bit to remind myself of how I'm going to place spiritual beingness into my, my very next task. Like, what am I doing right now? Uh, you know, I'm like stretching and like, you know, massaging my face and my ears. Um, but I'm like, what am I doing next? And how am I going to bring more of my spirituality into the very next action? That's it. Again, it took me, what, three minutes to describe, but it takes me 20 seconds to do. I'll, I'll show you literally right now, and you're not going to hear me say anything, but I invite you to do your own energy reboot as I'm silent for the next 20 minutes I do mine. Ready? Set. Go. Okay, something like 20 seconds. I probably did it a bit longer uh, because I knew I was demonstrating it for you. But um, anyway, that is the energy reboot. And so let me talk through the logic of it. By the way, this is what I call my energy reboot 2. You can look it up. Uh, I have a video. Well, I guess you could say this is the video, the newest video about energy reboot 2. Um, and energy reboot 3, in case you're wondering, is... Uh, energy Reboot 1, for those who don't know it, Energy Reboot 1 was something I started doing in like 2014, 2014 I think, and I did it for like three, four years, something like that, three or four years consistently, again, multiple times a day. And it was wonderful. I, I really needed Energy Reboot 1 for those years. And then I started doing Energy Reboot 2, which I just described to you, which I'll, talk, I'll say more about since... So probably 2019, so probably Energy Reboot 1 was like five, six years, something like that. And then Energy Reboot 2 has been the last three to four years, um, about four, maybe almost five years now. It takes me a long time to learn something. And then Energy Reboot 3, I'm still like on the edge of it. It's still very hard to do, which is more like 
I use anchor points in my workday, like looking outside of my backyard here at a flower or a tree or the grass um, as a reminder for me just to, I call it my tiny reboot, like just one breath and refocus again with spirituality on the next task. But let me describe the logic of energy reboot too, which is what I do mostly throughout my day consciously. So I thank God, and when I, you can replace the word God with universe, life, spirit, higher consciousness, uh, source, if you like, but I say God. I thank God for having brought me through all the ups and downs of my life thus far. I mean, isn't it remarkable? I mean, if you, if you, I mean, we can't, we don't even remember all of the, particularly downs, but also ups. We don't remember much, much of the dramatic experiences of life. Some of them are quite intense. Some of them are quite painful and traumatic, right? But we've somehow been through it all. I mean, the fact you're watching this video means you're, you're still here. You're, you've been brought through all of it. That's. I mean, I, I consider, I, I think that's a miracle that I've been brought through all of what I've been through. Amazing. Like, wow, I'm here now, like making this video, or you are here now watching this video calmly, in wherever you are. Wow, what amazing strength and goodness, the power that has brought you through all of it to this point of calmly watching this video. Amazing. Right? That was, that's the first breath. The second breath is, thank you, God, for bringing me through all the rest of it, all the ups and downs you'll bring me through throughout the rest of my life until I'm home. Amazing. I mean, that, just like you've been brought here to this moment, you're also going to be brought all the way until it's time for you to pass on and go home. Go home from this earth game this temporary earth game, you get to go home and, and spiritually rest and recuperate and celebrate all the ups and downs and all the lessons you've learned and all the growth you've achieved uh, with your soul family. And it's just going to be amazing. You can hang out there as long as you want until the next game you get to play. You want to play, you get to play. But yeah, you'll be brought through all of it. All of it, like for sure. All of the ups and downs. God, higher consciousness, spirit will always be there guiding, protecting, loving, serving you, your spirit team, always, always, never, never apart from you. And when I remember that, I'm just incredibly grateful, so grateful, deeply, deeply in tears of gratitude. Yeah. And the third movement is one of like holding hands with my spirit team. Thank you for being here right now. Like just to remind me, like not only is it theoretical, they're protecting me, guiding me. They're here literally right now as if they were holding my hands, facing life together. And whatever I'm going through, they will be here spiritually supporting me. I can always turn to them for emotional, mental, spiritual support, sometimes physical. What we often don't even realize, right? We're getting physical support, maybe in our bodies, maybe... We could have gotten a disease at some point, but we didn't even realize that we were protected from it. Like it was some healing happening in our body. Or of course, we're walking along and some, something could have hit us, you know, some falling from some apartment somewhere. Well, you know, <laughs> like we have no idea how much even physical support that we've been, we're being given at all times. Um, so thank you for being here right now and always, right? And then I... And then I kind of stretch and think about what is my next thing? Am I, am I like continuing to write this blog post? <laughs> am I continuing to, you know, organize my, my bookkeeping? What am I doing right now that I'm going to bring some spiritual beingness to this? You know, having rebooted myself and rebooted meaning again, I forget all the time and it's like clearing my, my memory again. It's almost like a, like, like you reboot a computer. You, you kind of clear it of, of the random access memory and now it's like fresh again to face the next moment and um, with more joy, I hope, with more calmness, with more strength, with more wisdom, with more heart. 
So with that, I'm going to complete this video. I encourage you to come up with your own. You can borrow as much of mine as you want to, but I, but you might have some additions to it or some subtractions or some customizations to it that makes it even more meaningful for you. Remember, keep it short. Make it frequent that you do throughout the day. Maybe have reminders like I do for my timers. And I hope you deeply, deeply enjoy your own energy reboot practice.